You know, the badge doesn't mean that we are better or smarter than anyone else. The badge means that you promise to protect and serve our community and that you will accept the responsibility for everything that you do or don't do as a police officer. Some of the goals you may want to set while in the police department include moving up the ranks and being part of our command staff. The other thing is you may want to be a part of our SWAT team or be an instructor at the training division. Who knows? One of you may be a future police chief. When creating your goals, the first thing to do is to remove all self-doubt. And don't compare yourself to others. In life, there will always be someone who is stronger than you, who is faster than you, or who is smarter than you. The second thing when creating your goals is to remember that there are no unrealistic goals. The only thing that may be unrealistic is the amount of work you are willing to put in towards accomplishing your goal. Don't be concerned about the things you cannot control. Be concerned about the things that you can control. And the one thing that you can control is the amount of effort you put towards achieving your goal. The last piece of advice to increase your chances of having a successful life and career is to overcome fear. We are all afraid of something. Some have more fear than others. However, the one thing we must summon to overcome fear is courage. But what is courage? Courage is what makes a police officer or a firefighter walk into danger to save someone's life. That's courage. Courage is knowing that you can lose, but still try. But courage doesn't always come in a loud voice or in a bold way. Sometimes, if not many times, courage comes to you in a quiet voice at the end of a disappointing day saying, I will try again tomorrow. As long as you don't give up, you have the chance to succeed because failure is temporary, but quitting is permanent. As long as you don't give up, you have the chance to succeed. And that's why I want to congratulate you because despite all of the challenges and barriers you experienced over the past six and a half months, you did not quit. And finally, 177th Recruit Class, I want to wish you the best for the future and welcome you to the HPD Ohana.